What is up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Cancer for January 2021 for the most positive, exciting thing happening to you in the month of January. I can only read these cards and spreads in the most positive way possible. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% relate to your story because they're specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me for a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and you're like to support my ass, please go smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Without any further ado, Cancer, I've already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, so let's get right into the reading. We got the Ace of Cups, we got the Nine of Swords, and then we got the Five of Wands. Okay, so specifically with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups is a new beginning when it comes to the realm of love. So this could be somebody coming in with an apology, could be a renewal, it could be... it. This is a gift of love. And it could even be you giving it to yourself. However, because we got like a multiple party situation here, it's I, it usually never is just you giving it to yourself. When it comes to these kinds of spreads, it's usually a little bit more romantically inclined. As, and this is a romantically inclined card. So the thing about this is, there is this love, this new beginning, there is an emotional quest that you are on. It might be with somebody or something that makes you happy over. I think it's going to be more so about somebody other than something. Uh, because the Nine of Swords represents the, I can ask, but the Nine of Swords represents these fears. It represents anxieties, these demons, these things that keep you up at night. So can I ask what these fears are? Why is the Nine of Swords showing up? Okay, all right, all right, that's perfect, actually, uh, because this is only, this can only be read of good. Uh, you kind of got similar message for what uh, Pisces just got, where they were basically, <laughs> basically what is being told to you right now is the anxieties and the fears that you feel over this new relationship are in your head. Uh, this is an anxiety thing. This is definitely an anxiety thing. You're being directly told that you are putting yourself into this place but it's something that solely you are doing alone. This isn't really based in reality. This is based in the fear that, oh my god, I've been hurt so many times, it's going to happen again. This is based in fear. This is not the truth. And I feel like you, because this came up, it's either, I'm not 100% sure if you are going to realize that it is not the truth or not uh, during the month. But I definitely, because when we have those fears, they're kind of hard to just displace into, you know, shoo, shoo. It, it kind of takes a while. But I'm telling you right now that these fears are basically not reality. These are things that are inside of your head. And this relationship, this new beginning does definitely have potential. The thing that you're being told, and this is almost, it's not, a, it's not a warning, but it's more of a, hey, this is how you get this done. If you want success in this and you don't want to, you know, um, be worried about this thing, then this is how you do this. It, the five of wands came up. In the Five of Wands, when it usually comes up in any other deck, I'd say this is an arguments card. It's a card about bickering. It's about fighting. In this deck, specifically the Manga Tarot by Ran, it represents, it's actually kind of a working together card. And I'm going to use the shitty analogy of League of Legends uh, or any kind of team game like Dota or something like that, where you have a team. Let's League of Legends, you have um, two teams of five. They're both competing against each other to be the best. Uh, you want to take over the inhibitor and destroy the Nexus, and you're trying, it's basically like Tag of War. And there's a laning phase where you put yourself into your own lane and you are fighting one other person by yourself. And in that period, you are gaining the skills that you need to fight off these people and you're um, gaining experience. And basically what's happening during this time is you are working on yourself by yourself and at the end of the game everybody else also has done the same thing they have taken the time to work on themselves and they get together at the end and they push and win and they they get rid of the competition and it's basically this is the same kind of energy where you have a solid um, you have a solid goal, you have a common goal, and this in a relationship represents that you and the other person at the end of the day, they go back inside of themselves, and they do the things that they need to do with inside of themselves that make them happy, and this is kind of the card of not being codependent on somebody, so I kind of get the sense that you need to hear that to make sure you take the time for your own hobbies, to work on yourself. If you are afraid, right now I'm hearing this, if you are afraid that, oh my god, I can't do this relationship, like I'm very terrified, like uh, I I think that I'm mentally unable to do this. 
Um, I, I'm getting the exact opposite from this. I'm, I'm getting that, yeah, it's going to be tough, but it's also something that I feel like you're being urged to hear, that it's not impossible. And basically, all you have to do is make sure that you are taking care of yourself first, and then at the end of the day, you are coming together. But you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself first, while also being attentive of the other person's needs. But this is saying that you, you build... The way that you win this is by working on yourself first, and then coming together, because I think both of you have work to do in this situation, and I fucking dropped my crystal, hold on. It's gone forever. Nope, never mind, it's not gone forever. But I, I'm getting the feeling that both of you probably have your own work to do, and that's not that's not a negative thing, that's a positive thing. Um, It's room to grow, and I feel like you definitely have the room to grow, and I think that this is going to take off on the right foot for you, Cancer. I think that you're being, I, this is really the spread of, hey, you're, Take it easy. You're not you're not what you think that you are. This isn't a situation that like this isn't a be all end all situation. It, it's this is a learning experience. It's also something that has potential there to 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 get somewhere I'm seeing the beginning indication of this to take off. I, I'm getting also the very strong sense that you're being very specifically told, hey, Take it easy. All you got to do is this. All you have to do is put the time in yourself. Make sure that you're still getting the work done. Be whatever that means. If you're still seeing your therapist, you're still taking the time to do all your work and your hobbies. It, this is saying, this is mostly in your head. These are fears. These are things can be worked around. Even if you think that they can't, I'm telling you right now from looking at this that they can be. This is a good spread. I, like I intended it to be, this is a really good spread. I love you. Good luck. I will see you on the flip side. Peace out, Cancer.